Demarcus Cousins III, also known as Jadeon, is taking his talents to the NBA, and as you saw a few seconds ago, greatness is waiting for him in the future. But in order to get there, there's going to be some major challenges. For one, he's only a 78 overall, but that's not even the hardest part. As we all know, Jadeon's grandpa, Demarcus Cousins I, was a dominant center in the 2010s. Some people might say he was the best. So Demarcus III is following in his footsteps by also playing center. But where the real problem lies is his height. He's only standing at 6'1". Pretty much every game, he's going to be a foot shorter than his matchup. So in order to compensate for that, every season he's getting some upgrades. We'll start off with eight for Kobe as usual, plus one to all shooting badges. We'll go 15 for Demarcus Cousins, plus 15 shooting. Now he's also getting a plus 10 layup. And obviously while all three upgrades are good, it's a plus 15 shooting which makes the most difference as it moves Jadeon's three ball up from a 68 to an 83. And when you combine that with the fact that he lives in the weight room, his 78 rating is already flying up to an 84. And while he's still coming off the bench, his unique play style as a 6 foot 1 center is throwing off the entire league. Cause despite his short stature, he'd averaged 17 points and 8 rebounds in what was a very eventful second season. And to top it all off, he gets to take home a trophy. He almost averaged a double-double off the bench, that's kind of insane. And at this point, when you think of up and coming NBA stars, you think of DeMarcus Cousins III. He has a really good shot to one day win a championship, something that eluded his grandfather during his time in the NBA. And the first step towards that goal starts in Oklahoma City. It's officially Demarcus's first playoff run. His lack of height is going to be put to the test. Jadeon's six foot one, but Chet's seven foot one. So obviously it's going to be a tough matchup as Demarcus is giving up a foot of height, but he's ready for the moment and he dominates Chet down low. He really had no answers for him, but at the same time, his teammates would struggle. And that cycle would continue for the entire series as while Jadeon's having no problems, his teammates would consistently let him down. Jadeon at the line, Jadeon probably gonna make the free throw. It's not gonna be his fault but it looks like Houston's gonna be sent home. And that's exactly what happened. They would fight hard for six games, but ultimately, OKC has way too much firepower. But this is just a start for DeMarcus Cousins at third. So now we're back with the upgrades, but this time he's getting two. And the reason he's getting two instead of three this time is that every single upgrade on here is even better than the ones on the last. So we'll start off with number two. And now he's getting a plus 10 interior defense, which is really important. And then we'll go with number eight, plus 50 to his dunk. And it's safe to say at a 37 rating, dunking was his weak point, but the plus 50 brings it up to an 87. It's also becoming increasingly clear that every offseason he'll do anything to improve his game. This time he's trying out some yoga. <laughs> giving him the chance to form a dynamic duo with Jalen Green, who's the highest rated player on the team. He's now heading to Minnesota for his first playoff run and first as a full-time starter. But this time, he's going to have to put his personal friendships aside. The Timberwolves might get smoked because they're like the seventh seed, but that's still gonna be a good matchup. It's now a friendly rivalry between two players with absurdly long names, Carl Anthony Towns and DeMarcus Cousins III. And both players would go bucket for bucket for the entire series. But as time went on, it would show that DeMarcus had the slight upper hand. At the end of the day, he's the second seed and Cats a seven. And if the Rockets could hold the lead for 40 more seconds, they can walk away with a sweep. Houston has a two-point lead, 40 seconds left. I'm assuming, yep, they throw it down to DeMarcus being guarded by not Carl Anthony Towns. The pass, the assist. Cat is on the floor, but they switch somebody else on him. DeMarcus with the defense on Anthony Edwards in the paint. He can't move him. That's fantastic defense. Doesn't get the rebound. They kick it out. No way he's hitting that. Stop it. And now Houston has to hit some clutch free throws. Houston has to go to the line. DeMarcus in position for the rebound. Doesn't matter. And now with a three-point lead, the Rockets are one stop away from winning this one. They don't throw it to Cat. Why don't they throw it to Cat? Wide open shot. They gave him a little bit of space. He missed it. He missed it. And that would officially be it. Despite being 10 inches shorter, Jadeon has outplayed and defeated his good friend Cat. But now he's heading south to New Orleans and the stadium where his grandfather used to play to go up against Zion definitely his toughest opponent so far. Zahn's a 96 overall, so obviously he's going to be the highest rated player on the floor. Unfortunately, Zion's 96 rating might have been too much for the Rockets, but just by making it to the second round, DeMarcus has made really good progress, and I guess you can say he's halfway to a championship. So right now we're on to the final upgrade. As you can see, there's only three boxes this time. There's one for defense, there's one for shooting, there's one for finishing. Whichever one we open up, that category is getting maxed out. Personally, I would like to see the finishing, so like the dunking and layups go up. Either way, it's going to be a huge boost. We'll go with number two right in the middle. DeMarcus Cousins at third is getting all of his shooting maxed out, which definitely makes him the best shooter in the league, and a 96 overall. And with averages of 24 and 11, he's very reminiscent of his grandpa. It's now time for the playoffs though, and this time the state of Texas is on the line. Lucas let my girls DM, man. Can you tell him to stop? DeMarcus would get his revenge though, as the entire Mavericks team was unable to guard him, not just Luca, which now brings us into Sacramento for the second round. But this series wouldn't be as easy, as the Kings have an extremely balanced roster unlike Dallas. So while at first I didn't believe in them at all, they would put up a serious fight, and that might be an understatement. 
bro. Okay, we get it. We lost. We lost. We're going to game seven. And yes, you heard that right. Sacramento would force game seven, and it would be the first of DeMarcus's career. But at the same time, he's built for these moments. He's a 96 overall, and by far, he's the highest rated player on both teams. So you already know, when the team needs him the most, he's going to deliver. Oh, shit. Just an insane dunk from DeMarcus who's come a long way, but most importantly, it's the finishing touches on a Game 7 win. Now he's heading back to New Orleans for a rematch against Zion, who of course is dominating the paint. But this time, DeMarcus is the higher seed, and he would get his revenge averaging 27 points for the series. Bro, we're up by like 20 points. We're about to score. We scored 171 points in the playoffs. Zion definitely put up a good fight, but to be honest, DeMarcus has completely surpassed him. We're moving on, finally, to the NBA Finals. And to put it in perspective, his grandfather, DeMarcus I, only made it to one Finals during his time in the NBA. So now it's up to DeMarcus III to get it done, and the man standing in his way would be Trey Young. But there's reason to be optimistic. If we look over to the Eastern Conference, Atlanta was the sixth seed, we're the third seed. So we're pretty much the favorites by far. If we lose, it's kind of a tragedy. And my prediction's starting to look really good, as DeMarcus will continue what he's done this entire time, dominate game one. We're running away with it. Like I said, we are the favorites. Almost a 30 point win. DeMarcus Cousins III with 45 points, 20 rebounds, and 11 assists. But my excitement, would stop right there because Trey Young will lead the Hawks to not one, not two, but three wins in a row. Now DeMarcus has to pull LeBron and come back down 3-1. With that being said, he's taken down so many stars to get here. DeMarcus has been battle tested to this point, so a 3-1 comeback isn't out of the question. Unfortunately, that's not how that worked out. Trey would go all the way. Just like his grandpa, DeMarcus III has lost in the finals. But it doesn't end there, because five years later, he would make it back. It took him a while, but he has another chance at a championship. But the man standing in his way, let's just say they have some prior history. I just made Jason Tatum to tie my tie. Jason, I need your help. I can't tie it. Yo, Jason. Yo, Jason, tie my tie. Yo, Jason, I need your tie. Yo, Jason, man, help me out, bro. Unfortunately, Jason wouldn't tie his tie, and DeMarcus would have to use it as fuel. Not only that, but his prior loss in the finals, also fuel. An off-season trip to Shoe Palace, definitely fuel. I will not leave until I get my size 13, Tyrone. And it all starts in game one of the finals at home. He'd dominate with 35 points, 14 rebounds, and the win to go up 1-0. He'd also keep it up in game two with 31 more points, and most importantly, he has a 2-0 lead. He's only a couple wins away from a championship, but as we've seen earlier, no lead is safe. The final minutes of game three aren't looking good. Oh my God, we got it back, we got it back, we got it back. Go, 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 go. Three, three, shoot the three, shoot the three, shoot the three, shoot the three, please, we need it. We made it, he made it, he made it, he made it, he made it. One point game, 30 seconds left, and they send Tatum to the line. He misses the first free throw. The second free throw is good. All right, that's a two point lead, that's fine. They're about to post him up again for like the fourth straight time. Will he finally score? I believe, there it is. He ties up the game. We have to get one more stop. Jason Tatum, top of the key. He's just kind of standing there for a long time. I'm not gonna lie. He missed it, he missed it. Rebound, rebound, timeout, timeout. We didn't have a timeout. Which obviously means right now we're heading to overtime and it would remain close for the first few minutes. But as time went on, one team started to pull away. Oh my God, and we fouled. Jalen Green with the ball. They throw it down to Jadeon in the post. DeMarcus with the ball. DeMarcus with the shimmy, the pump fake. Kind of makes some space, kind of, not really. And right now, Houston desperately needs a stop. And they're not gonna get it. They throw it down to DeMarcus again for a second straight time. DeMarcus with the shimmy. DeMarcus trying to bully his way. He gets blocked. Oh my God, bro. This whole six foot one center thing. Yeah, it's not really working out right now. Oh my God. Oh my God. That's how it ends, really? And as you can tell, Boston's taking that one, and now it's a 2-1 series. But at the end of the day, it's just a small setback. Because game four still in Boston would be completely in favor of the Rockets, and we all know who's carrying the team at this point. DeMarcus Cousins the third with 40 points and 15 rebounds. And now we're one win away from a championship. And just as a reminder, we're in the year 2032. DeMarcus Cousins the first was drafted in 2010. At this point, this potential championship is well over 20 seasons in the making. And there's no way he's stopping right now. What you just saw right there was a 39 point performance from DeMarcus, but most importantly, his long road to a championship is officially over. DeMarcus Cousins III is officially an NBA champion. He got his revenge on Jason Tatum for not tying his tie. And of course, as you would expect, he's bringing home the finals MVP. He did it for grandpa. And as a bonus, he did it for his hometown team. The Rockets jersey looks right on him. Just like how a Warriors jersey would look good on flight. Oh, 
That's me. And notice how he's wearing number 30. Well, that's because he's replacing Steph. If you want to see how Flight would do in the NBA, click the video on the screen. I know how to tie a tie now.